Hey everybody, this is Carlos from Coralview coming to you from Ripa Palooza in Orlando 2019. And I'm about to show you our new and latest product. It's called a Hydro's Wave Engine. And this is something that we at Coralview have been thinking about for the last two years, but have developed over the last one year. As a, as a hobbyist, we all end up with a hodgepodge of different pumps that unfortunately don't work together with each other. So we wanted to come up with a product that would allow us to take pumps from different brands and put them together so they could work together, not only as in regular on and off, but actually be part of a more intricate flow pattern where you have a left pump, a right pump, a back pump, and a front pump and work together. So I could have a Vortec assigned to the left side of my tank, a gyre assigned to the front, to the right side of my tank, and an octopulse assigned to the back, and they work together in a single flow pattern. One of the biggest problems that we all have is cable management. It is just getting completely out of hand. So us as hobbyists here at Coralview wanted to come up with something that would allow us to somewhat simplify the mess, all right? And what we did is, we wanted to create the wave engine so that it could also not only control the pumps, but also get rid of controllers and pumps. So we have a wave engine on this side of the display tank that is running an Octopulse 4, an, Oct an Octopulse 2, a Gyre 350, one of the brand new ones, and, a and an IceCup Gyre 3K. Now this brands, Reef Octopus, Maxpec, and IceCap have come to us and said, hey guys, we want to play with the hydros. So you can go ahead and take the controller off, you can take the power supply off and connect it directly to the hydros without voiding the warranty. So what we did is we grabbed these four pumps on this side and they're connected directly to the hydros engine. What makes this great is this hydros engine is then connected to a 5 amp power supply which is running all these four pumps. And if you put your hand in here, which I know you can't, but if I do, I can hold this forever. It's lukewarm, all right? And if you look down at the bottom, you will see that all those cables, all those controllers, all that power supply is gone, which is great for that significant other because they're always blaming you're gonna burn the house down with that many cables. This is a Hydros app, which will be completely free, works on iPad and Android. You can see right here that the current voltage these four pumps are running is only drawing 2.53 amps out of a 5 amp supply, which is completely 100% safe. In addition to that, you can also tell individual information for the pump. So this Gyre 350 is running right now at 48.9 watts and it's got an RPM of 780. So you can keep track of your individual pumps to make sure that they're working at optimal performance. The, the whole point about this Hydros app is to allow different pumps from different brands to work together in a single flow pattern. So we have actually created different flow patterns that are available to all the pumps attached. As you can see right here, we have Ocean Swell, Constant Speed, Gyre Mode, LPS Reef, Random, and SPS Reef. And for those of you that actually want to create your own intricate pattern without taking one of the presets, we've also included Sine Wave, square wave, four square, and triangle wave, which at the end of the day, all the other top presets are just a combination of any of those flow patterns together. Once you create your flow pattern, then you can go back to our main screen, go to triggers, and here you can create a schedule of every single flow pattern. So I can run LPS Reef at 12 noon, and then I can run my Carlos flow pattern from 12 until four, and then I can run something else, making it quite intricate. All right, so another feature of the Hydros Wave engine is the fact that it can run pumps from any brand. That includes Vortec, includes Tunsi, Gyre, IceCap, and Reef Octopus. So what this thing is, this machine has a Vort uh, an Ecotec RF wireless chip inside that makes this unit act like a master and then this two units slaves. So all the Vortex uh, pumps think that this is a pump, a master pump, and they follow the instructions. Tunsi controllers have a zero to 10 variable speed input. So it allows us to connect the, the wave engine to the variable speed input on the Tunsi controller and then run the controller just like that. Unlike other controllers there, when you connect them at zero to 10 variable speed, you have to pretty much write all your entire flow pattern. On the wave engine, it doesn't matter. If you have 
Ecotec pumps, if you have gyres which are directly connected to the wave engine, or you have a Tunsi that is connected via variable speed, they all have access to the same flow patterns and work together as one. I know that one of the biggest questions everybody is asking right now is, is this Apex compatible? Well, it's a, it's a little bit of a complicated uh, answer because at this time, most controllers are unable to get pumps to work together unless there is some type of intricate program. For those of you that are like myself, if I have an Apex, I like to just press the feed mode once. I don't want to press the feed mode on my Apex and then have to come to this app and press feed mode in here. So what we have developed is a connection, a zero to 10 input connection into this wave engine. So this wave engine is connected to the Apex at the bottom. I go into my Apex, Fusion and I go ahead and start the feed mode. The, the Apex sends a voltage signal to the wave engine and then the wave engine will turn feed mode and turn off the pumps. That's it, no more two buttons. Now, most people would ask, why, you know, why can't I just connect the wave engine to a outlet and shut off the outlet? Shut off the wave engine, shut off everything that is connected to. All the direct pumps connected to the wave engine will shut off but wireless pumps such as the Ecotec will continue to run at their status quo, so it's not really a feed mode. So we needed to send a signal from the Apex and tell the Wave Engine to send the signal to all the pumps, wirelessly, directly connected, or zero to 10, to start feed mode. So in terms, yes, the Wave Engine is compatible with the Apex. Another, thing, another great thing about the Wave Engine is that they are synchronized. They're synchronized together, regardless of the Wave Engine. So in this display, we have two wave engines. We have a wave engine on the right side that is controlling four pumps, and then we have a wave engine on the left side that is controlling all the other pumps. Now, what we did is we connected all propeller pumps. All propeller pumps are working together. And all the gyre pumps, laminar flow, are working in opposite. Regardless of which wave engine they're connected to, they're synchronized. And why? Because the wave engines are connected to a time server. This is the same time server that keeps your phones, that keeps your computers on and, and synchronized. So they're syn the wave engines are synchronized to the one thousandths of a second, which means that they will never go out of sync. So you can have a 20 foot long tank, put a wave engine on the right, put a wave engine on the left, create this wave pattern, and you don't have to sit with your wife on the other side. Okay, honey, let me know when I can plug it in so everything is synchronized. And then two days later, they're out of sync. With the wave engines, because they're all synchronized to the same clock, to the one thousandths of a second, you don't have to worry about ever synchronizing. And as you can see right now, the wave, the wave engines are running the, the, the gyre pumps together. The gyre pumps are gonna start to slow down, and then the propeller pumps are gonna start to pick up. So you can see this various eight in the middle of the tank pick up. And if you see a cross all the way at the end, you'll see our abyss power and you can see that the abyss power and the various eight are synchronized together and they've been like that for the legs the last two days even when we shut down for the day we just turn off the wave engines the next morning turn them on and they automatically synchronize each other so we don't have to sit in here and try to make sure that the abyss and the various eight are synchronized and working together that's how simple it is now the big question or the big set of questions when is it available and how much is it going to be the Wave Engine will be available in August. And yes, I'm not talking about August of next year, I'm talking about August of 2019, just before Magna. The pricing is $350, and that includes the Wave Engine and a five amp power supply. The connectors the, to directly connect pumps into your Wave Engine are sold separately, and that's just because we all have a hodgepodge of pumps and there's no way to package something that fits for everybody. But the connectors are gonna be incredibly cheap and easy to access. We'd like to thank you all for taking a look at our new product. It is really a CoralView product created by CoralView in the U.S., engineered by CoralView in the U.S. We are distributors, but at the end of the day, everybody that works at CoralView is also a hobbyist. And we really wanted to come up with a product that helped everybody. We hope that we came up with something like that. If you have any questions about the product, don't hesitate to visit our website at hydroswaveengine.com or also hit us at coralview.com. Thank you again and see you next time.